So I'm going to call the meeting to order. First thing on the agenda is public comment. This is the, this is the Board of Liquor, Liquor Control. Oh, the Board of Liquor Control, yeah, sorry. Board of Liquor Control, first thing. All right. Public comment. May I? May I make For the public? Board of Liquor Control? Oh, no, 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 sorry. Okay. All right, so no other public comment. So approval of the agenda. What is the proof of the agenda? Excuse me, Perry. I'm sorry, I'm from Braintree, so I don't quite know what I'm doing, but I wanted to make a public comment. Is that When right? we get to the regular meeting. The regular meeting. Oh, oh. Right now we're in this Board of Liquor right Control. Board oh, of liquor control. excuse me. You'll be fine. I'll get All you. Right, this is very you. short. So okay. it'll take long. Thank Second. you very much. Thanks. Okay, so we got a second? Yep. All those in favor? That's fine. Aye. 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 Green is an aye. Oh, right, okay. There it is. Okay. Oh, that's right. So new business. We have two 2020 liquor uh, license renewals for Shaw's for beer and wine and Summit stores for malt and beer and wine. So any questions, comments, discussion? I have none. Anything, Pat? No. All right, we need a motion. One at a time or both at once? I think we should just do them both. Okay. I'll move that we approve um, both liquor license renewals. For Shaw's and for Summit Stores. Okay. Motion seconded. All those in favor? Aye. Okay, carries. I move we adjourn. Okay. Second. So move. Uh, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. So moved. Okay, we're out of that. And then we'll be close right now. On to the regular meeting. So I'm going to call the regular select board meeting to order. And now public comment. Thank you, Ed. Sorry to be so clueless, but That's I'm okay. a Braintree resident. That's my only excuse. Okay. I just wanted to fill you guys in on a couple things that have happened since uh, we last talked about grants for Chandler. Okay. Thank you for uh, the uh, support for the grant for the New England Heritage Economy Program. We filed an application on the day uh, that it was due, and we will hear by the middle of February whether or not we obtain that grant, which did require a match. Mm -hmm. If that doesn't work, we have our feelers out for uh, other possible places, and there's one spot at uh, Vermont Community Foundation that looks promising. Keep your fingers crossed on both, but again, match. So your, your support is really, really important. Um, then just one other uh, grant-related comment. Last year, uh, in December, Aldolfo wrote a really superb letter re supporting Chandler's request for Nat Life Main Street grant funding to get money to reduce ticket prices at Chandler because of <coughs> your input and what we hear from the community that ticket prices can never get low enough. So uh, we're going to be applying to Wyndham Foundation in their first cycle in uh, 2020 again to support reductions in ticket prices and also to do more of the by donation live and upstairs shows that people really seem to be enjoying. Um, we've got some of those scheduled in free in February uh, and more coming up later in the year and we think that it would be really helpful for women to give us some money to support those too. So again we'll be asking Adolfo to just reprise his support letter from Matt Life last time and we have our fingers crossed that we'll get that money too. So thanks for all the good suggestions and ideas and support, and we'll keep keeping you posted. Great. Can Can you good please question? just let me know your name? Sharon Reeves. Sharon Reeves. I'm, I'm a resident, but a um, Chandler volunteer. Okay, thank you. What effect do you think no, it's had this year? I'm sorry? What effect do you think it's had this year, being able to lower prices? Um, we've been able to lower the prices for New World Festival, uh, for classical music, and for uh, the Pride Festival. For instance, for the benefit that we're doing on Saturday, uh, of the May West band play that hasn't been seen since 1927, um, we're able to offer a $5 ticket price for, uh, for food stamp participants, three squares, the clients at the food shelf, the clients at Capstone, and so on. And, and people are starting to take advantage of that. And also, 
of the ten dollar ticket price that Perry recommended that we uh, we post for the back row back section of the balcony. So keep your fingers crossed, Pat. I think the, getting the word out is really important. Mm -hmm. um, so I postered at the food shelf and capstone this week and circled the five dollar ticket price option. So do you think you're getting more attendance? Don't know yet. Hard to you know, tell. Okay. It's hard to tell, right? But but as I said, the the by donation events live and upstairs, where we have BYOB, mm -hmm. uh, are doing pretty well. Though now that people are used to having free entertainment in their homes, some many people just walk by the donation basket. Mm -hmm. So having some um, money from Wyndham Foundation and. We're going to keep asking for sponsorship for those events. It will really be helpful because we need to at least get enough money in to cover the artist fees. Right. So. Okay. Well, it sounds like we're making progress. In your we're own. making progress, yeah. Great. Thanks for the good ideas and the support. You're welcome. All right. Any other public business here? Public comment? No, nope. all right. So let's move on to approval of the agenda. Um, when you get there, Perry, we added um, slide A for the um, fire advisory recommendation to change the agenda. Yeah. To, yes. So that's an addition. That's an addition. Okay. So is that just a discussion then? Um, there's an action item on that. It's a recommendation for a, uh, an increase in compensation to firefighters. Okay. And there's an action item sheet on that in the package. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, so. The move we approve the agenda. Okay. Second. All right, move and second it. All those in favor say aye. 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 Consent calendar. Except here, Trini, that is she voting. Trini, are you voting? We lose ya. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. I'm not hearing her. Okay. Should I talk louder? That's good. That's good. Okay. <laughs> Let me just move it closer to me. That's awesome. Let's just throw this one right here. All right. All right. I just moved you a little closer. All right. Let's try that. Okay. So we're on to consent calendar. We did. Yes. No. Yes. No. Nope. We're going to do that. So we need a motion for the consent calendar. I'll move that we approve the consent calendar. A second. Okay. Motion's moved and seconded. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. You got it that time? Yeah. Okay, good. All right, so new business. So we're we starting with the fire. The fire advisory board committee um, met last Wednesday, which would have, um, or Tuesday, January 14th. Um, they were, um, voted to recommend the select board consider a wage increase to all firefighters by 10%. Um, the, we had no idea that that was happening. The existing budget that we're going to be approving tonight has does not have reflect those that increase in it. Um, and the recommendation is to decline the increase because it may set a precedent um, for other town employee groups to vote their own increases. And a follow-up for that, depending on which way this goes, um, will be that the town staff will work with the Fire Advisory Committee and the Operations Review Committee to determine what that uh, will look like going forward. All righty. Any thoughts on that? How much of an increase is it? It would start at the bottom of a dollar and ten cents an hour, um, and work um, in ten percent increments as you look the um, responsibility ladder within each department. 
So the, so the lowest paid firefighters would see a dollar ten increase. That's correct. Well, I would be in favor of <clears throat> what you just suggested about the, you know, the fire advisory committee work with the budget committee and staff to to do this instead of just like I'm agreeing as each I don't think it's right for them to just think that they can work themselves an increase and we're gonna accept that. So And then the operations review committee is that's one of their charges is to get to look at structure and compensation and other items. Who's the operations review committee? Um, it's the three fire chiefs okay. and Hank, hey, yeah, same line. Want me want to hear Trini? Yes. Okay. Go. Oh. has been fire advisory sets the rate. They present it to the select board. The select board's always been selected. It's never been hardly any conversation. And so they sat down to look at the rate and approved this, this increase. So I had a conversation with Mike Hildebrand about it, that the charge of that committee is actually to set policy and how those rates will be determined and then rates should come through and follow that policy once it's accepted by the select board. And he agreed that they probably needed to do a policy. Um, and we had a conversation about maybe the full, we've got other issues with how we pay the firemen and not triggering uh, employee status versus volunteer status. So we've agreed to take that on as part of the charge of uh, the fire services committee and trying to come out with sorting through all the laws and the rules on when you trigger an employee versus a volunteer, when labor is involved, and when workers' comp kicks in, and come back with another proposal of how we pay the firemen. In the meantime, when they looked at the numbers at fire advisory, they believe that this rate change between now and June 30th is only going to amount to about a thousand dollars. Probably more like five or six training. Say that again. He so says he sees, he thinks Cliff thinks between five and six thousand. Um, that's not what they were coming out with for an estimate from the advisory. They thought it would be about a thousand dollars if that. Hmm. So I'm not sure what they were working with for numbers. You know, the other thing I told them is you're in the middle of a of a fiscal year and your budget's already done for the next fiscal year to be proposed, so you know, where are you thinking the money for this is gonna come out of? To which they pointed out that they always have carryover for you know, money that doesn't end up being spent and it goes into reserve funds. I'd kind of like to know more about what this will really cost before we approve it. Um, I'm wondering if, and it sounds like there may be some other questions, perhaps we put this off till next month. You think that? It would be nice to see what the pay schedule is now and how it would affect that schedule and how it would affect our budget okay. for this year and next. Did you hear that, Trini? <coughs> Right. So I think it, you know, what it's really going to cost. Right. So I think the consensus is is to wait, grab some more information, and then review it again. I thought she just said yeah. And she said yeah. <laughs> Someone needs to make a motion, I think. Right. Do we, do we need a motion to not act? We're not going to take action on it. We don't have to take any. If we're not going to make, yeah, if we're not going to take any action, we don't have to make a motion, right? We can just table it till the next discussion, next meeting. Okay, I'm all for that. Okay, we got three nods. All right. So, next thing, uh, draft tax stabilization agreement policy. Yes, that, um, that's under current review. Um, Joshua Jerome is still working on it, couldn't be with us tonight. I'd like to defer discussion on that until the next meeting as well. Okay. 
Are you okay with that? Good. Yeah, Pat? that sounds yep. fine. We have okay. a copy of that in here. Okay, so we're going to table that. I don't know. It's okay. I will, I will say no, that I did read that policy and that it looks pretty good. It's, I think, yeah, it's getting but better. He may, like. have, he may have sent it, did he send it through email? Yeah. Yeah. To all the select board members? Yeah. yeah, presumably. All right, so. Mountain Alliance Inter-Municipal Agreement Amendment. Yeah, and we're not there with the amendment, but um, Roxbury, Town of Roxbury has um, made a request to become a member of the Mountain Alliance. <coughs> um, currently, we've got four towns in the Mountain Alliance, Randolph, Braintree, Brookfield, and Northfield. Um, the current agreement allows for um, other, other towns to be admitted into the alliance. Mm -hmm. um, there's an additional spreading of cost if they were to be allowed into the alliance. Um, as far as spreading the, the load of the cost of operating against another town, um, the, there's a potential for increased cost due to with the household hazardous waste event. You've got more people that put more, um, more household hazardous waste, um, they would share in that cost as well. Um, we might not get an increase in the SWIFT grant that pays for part of that household hazardous waste collection. And there's a potential for increased traffic at our transfer station. Um, potential for more maintenance as a result of the increase in traffic. Um, <coughs> Town of Braintree has already voted to approve the request, and if they are admitted, everybody votes yes, then the agreement will have to be revised. And that's what the um, amendment is about. So it's um, getting there. Um, so it's a request before this board to whether or not to admit Roxbury. <laughs> you have any thoughts on this, Trini? Oh, <laughs> okay. So this is the the the, um, the Mountain Alliance adding Roxbury or letting Roxbury join in with Braintree, Brookfield, and Northfield, and Randolph. Any thoughts? I don't see a downside to it. Yeah, I don't either. I think it's fine. For years, it was just Braintree, Brookfield, and Randolph. We added Northfield. The positive of that is it allows some of the folks that live closer to Northfield to then go to Northfield direction. Yeah. Yeah. I don't see a problem. I don't see it. Rocks Field is so tiny. Such a small community. Yeah. It's not going to matter. Yeah. I can't believe it. We just... So we need a, a motion to approve this yeah. addition? <clears throat> I'll move that we uh, approve the request by the town of Roxbury to become a member of the Mountain Alliance. I'll second it. I have a question. Yes. Um, what do we get from the state for grants on this? You said it might or might not be increased. That's been averaging around $11,000 a year. Is that per person? No, that's, person? that's in total for the program. What do they do? How do they figure that? I don't know. Based on per capita, I think. I, I like I said, I don't know. Mm. Seems like there must be some fair system. You hope. You would think, yeah, right? You would think there must be something based on population in the towns or something. So I mean, right now you say it's around eleven thousand. That, that's about what we've been getting the last two or three years. That sounds like about a buck a person. I don't know if Roxbury's have a significant increase in that. Not a very big community, but mm -hmm. I don't see it being a negative. So, you ready for the question? The, the little follow-up, the 11,000 goes towards the hazardous waste? Yes, because everybody drops off the hazardous waste, and usually the collection that we pay to Clean Harbors is much higher than the grant, and then everybody kicks in to, um, to fund what's left over. Yeah. So the risk would be if you've got a lot of hazardous waste from 
Else. And yeah. I mean, it's, it's household waste, right? And we're talking, you know, somebody's got paint they've got to get rid of, or old oil, or antifreeze, something like that. So, yeah, I mean, I can't. We did get. We we did. Yep. Oh, maybe we get another. Ah, oh, okay. Were they with another town? Yeah, so where was Northfield before Trini? Do you know? Roxbury. Yeah, they were part of the Central Vermont College Bay District. <laughs> and uh, they had, it saved Northfield $23,000 when they joined us. Uh -huh. How about Roxbury? Were they the same Central Vermont? Is Roxbury the Central Vermont now, you think? I don't know. I would guess because I don't know what else. And where else they would be? That they're they're probably part of that. Yeah. Why they didn't at the same time Northfield did, I don't know. But. All right. Okay, so we got a motion to. We have a motion and a second. Yep. So vote. Ready? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Four zero. Or four zero one. Or, yeah. Okay. Next item up is. And off center fire department gear replacement. Last month, the Randolph Center Fire Department responded to an incident up on I 89, and three firefighters had their duty gear damaged by um, fuel spills. Mm -hmm. um, so, all of that gear cannot be cleaned, it has to be replaced. Um, from what the chief says, the cost of that gear to be replaced is north of just over $8,000. Um, and so the plan is to replace the gear and back charge the insurance company and the, um, the at fault accident. And the reason this is on the agenda is to, is because that money is going to come out of reserves and this board needs to approve that expenditure. And then the money would go back to the reserves if it's recaptured from the insurance company. That, that is correct. Okay. And the plan is also to build on. They do have, yeah, they do have a history of being paid, right? Yeah. Okay. And we also plan to build. North Randolph Road, two years ago. Mm-hmm. Truck of batteries rolled over. They replaced the. They replaced here for Randolph Center at that one. Okay. Seems reasonable to think that we'd be reimbursed again. Um, and we plan to bill them for the firefighter time and equipment to respond as well. I think we should be doing that. We should. Yeah. Was there any difference in opinion as to where the money should come from? I thought Adolfo mentioned that last time. For this particular, I mean, out of the reserve fund or yeah. from where? So what's, is there a different, where, where would it come from? Where, would, where, where are other sources? Fire department budget. Would they recommend that? This money's not in the department budget. It's not right. in the budget, right? So yeah, th this is where we've got money to, that we could use. So it's just basically a loan from that account to buy the equipment, replace the money after it comes back in. So seems like a reasonable request. Okay, so we need a motion. Have to replace the equipment either. Right, we have to replace the equipment. We've got firefighters right now with no gear. Okay, let's let's, let's do it before to, any more time goes by. The company doesn't reimburse us. It's coming out of that reserve fund. The charges. Okay. All right. I think Larry's chomping in the bit to make a motion. How can you tell? <laughs> um, uh, I I move that we uh, approve the expenditure of. Up to eighty-five hundred dollars from the fire equipment reserve fund for the purchase of this year. Second. Pat seconded it. Okay. Any further discussion? Hearing none. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Four zero one. All right. Uh, next item up. Assembly permit for a Winterfest event. The 
the same as last year? Very much the same. A few little minor differences. Parking, we're trying to, uh, we're actually utilizing um, the high school, the elementary school, and the former Carroll Concrete lot, which is now owned by the Dimmicks, who have granted us permission to use that. So uh, those are the parking areas. There will be parking at Harris Hargraves Drive on Paul Face property, which would probably primarily be for vendors and volunteers and handicapped. So and that, those are the only changes actually to the town issue. There will be changes to the layout, but as far as the event goes. How many people came last year? Yeah, around a thousand. And we anticipate upwards of that number, possibly even more. The response to the um, Facebook blasts that have been going on seem to be extremely positive. So lots of interest. Um, sponsorship is uh, seems to be gaining ground. More, we have actually have a radio. Froggy has partnered with us. They're sponsoring a cardboard box race. So be fun, fun event. And so yes, yeah, so we got them on as a sponsor. And so looking forward to having them engaged. So, but yes, yeah, pretty much the same as last year. Fireworks at the end of the day. I think that's already been addressed. So. I'll move we approve the assembly permit uh, for the Yeah. Second. Okay, motion to approve the assembly permit for Winterfest. Any other discussion? Uh, hearing none, all those in favor? Aye. 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 <coughs> okay. That's out of the way. Next thing, certificate of highway mileage. What's that about, Cliff? Each year, the Agency of Transportation requires that every municipality is certified total mileage of the roads in, within the boundaries of the town. Um, this year, there's no changes to the report from AOT. Um, that was um, the changes made by the select board last year for reclassifications mm -hmm. were all incorporated in last year's in last certifications year process. So um, this information is used to determine the amount of reimbursement we get from the state right. to um, support our, our road maintenance and our roads. Um, we're expected to receive $28,000 for first class <coughs> roads, $60,000 for second class, and $110,000 for third class. So on this one, there's no changes, and the recommendation is to accept and certify and sign the certificate as presented by the AOT. <coughs> okay. I have a question. Um, do we tell them what roads we have and then they measure them? I'm just curious who does the measurement. Let me, Trini, can explain that question. So Pat asked the question, do we tell them the mileage and they certify the mileage? So we go based on their mileage, unless we have reason to believe otherwise. Yeah, we're using we're using their map mileage, unless we've altered it and they've accepted the change that we altered, and then they've readjusted, and then so now we're back to where this is what they say we have, and this is we're agreeing to that. Certify the mileage as indicated on this report. Okay, we got a motion for that. Second. Second. Second by Larry. All right, any further discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 All right, then to 
Town report and town meeting. Town report and town meeting. What do we need to know about town report and town meeting? Well, we've got a bunch of things to approve tonight. Okay. Um, there's, I, I have a number of versions of the warning, and so I've got a particular order that I'd like to proceed in. Okay. Um, the first one is the budget committee article. Um, it's Article 28 on the warning that you have, a copy of the warning. Um, the Budget Committee has submitted it at its January meeting. They voted to recommend changes that will expand the committee membership from three persons to five, and also specifying and clarifying the function so that they can better reflect and support the structure and the goals of that committee. Um, and the recommendation is to accept and approve the Article 28 as presented by the Budget Committee. Um, it's pretty lengthy. Um, <clears throat> the biggest change in that um, segment is, like I said, the membership, going from three people to five. Um, it would um, also requ require a vote at town meeting to populate those new seats. Okay. Did they give a reason why they wanted to go to five? We have a hard time getting three. Yeah, you heard this? Did you hear what she said? I, I did hear that, and I was going to ask Dick Pay to comment because he's in the audience. Dick, did you hear that? Yes, I, I heard that, and it, it has to do with having somebody around to do the little bit of work that needs to be done between me. Michael Penrod goes away for right. three, four months in the summertime. Uh, we have one committee member who hasn't been able to get to very many meetings or participate very much. It, it means the committee's in effect one person many times. With a base of five, we have a better probability of having two or three people around to talk about things and to get some little research project done that, that we're interested in. Well, I don't have a problem with it if we can get you more people. So, so what, you just have to start lobbying right now. <laughs> Look for some help. So, I, I think we can do it. I think we can find. I think more. we can do it. Yeah. I um I put a post on front porch forum the other day because we need people for water sewer. Yeah. And uh, and I got three responses. Okay. People, so that would you know, and that's got to be. That's not uh, fun either. It's. <laughs> I would think the, the, the budget committee is going to be at least as much fun as the yeah. YSU committee. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm, okay. I'm optimistic that we can right. populate this committee and spread the work around a little more. Uh, I would say we should try it. So that's my thought. The only, the only question I have is um, in Article 28, um, it specifies um, that the terms will be for two years and three years, and and that's all it says about the terms. Um, the, the 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 idea is that it'll be um, staggered. It'll be staggered the same way the select board terms are staggered. Um, but to get started, one of those terms will have to be one year. To so I just wanted to make sure that we'll still be able to do that, even though it's not specifically mentioned here in the well that, that's um if you look down to um article 29 which is immediately following um this this discussion about the, the changes yeah that's to elect to fill any vacancies on the budget committee and so we'll have a um so we'll set up a, a term proposal grid and and we're still sorting out whether we need two one-year terms the first year or one year, a one year and a two year term the first year. But that will just be done from the floor at town meeting, and so we'll be able to do that without having it all in writing. That is correct. Okay. Okay. I'm good with it, so. Any thoughts, Pat, and you're okay with that? I think so. So this wouldn't change the structure or the 
mission of the budget committee would just be adding three more members. Two more members. Two more members. That's the biggest change. And then the other bullet points here are most are really just about just just being clearer about what the relationship is between the budget committee and the select board and the town and what their sort of responsibilities are, what they're really charged with, which, which just makes it a little more clear. Yeah, I haven't thought through all those things, but I don't have a problem with the five members. If we can find them, we can take Larry up on his post on the front porch farm. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe that's where it would come from. Some of it's just a matter of telling, letting people know what's going on. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, a lot of it's been, you know, can't find people at town meeting, but a right. much larger community. But there's a larger group. So. All right. Motion. Uh, I'll move that we accept this proposal from the budget committee to include this article 28 to the town meeting. Second. Okay, any further discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 Okay. Can I ask a question? Sure. sure. Is there a procedure to uninvite the person who's not come into the meeting? It's in here. Okay. Isn't that right, Dick? It's in there, right? It's in there. Well, we talked about we, it. We talked about, oh, yes. No, what we talked about, yes, I remember now. It, it, when the budget committee organizes itself after town meeting, they will be able to come up with their own rules and procedures for how to manage those kinds of situations on a yearly basis. Does that summarize it about right? Yeah. and, and to underscore that, that one person who rarely seems able to, it just, it cripples you. You don't, you, get, you don't get a good discussion of issues and so forth. So yes, we, we badly need a way to just email the person and say, thank you for your contribution to the committee so far, and we wish you good luck with your future endeavors <laughs> and end the relationship. Uh, we, but the committee, will come up with a way to do that because right. we all agree it needs to be done. Right. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Whose term comes up this year, Dick? Uh, CJ Stump. Yeah. Okay. So did we, did we take, did we yeah, we voted. Vote? Yeah, we voted. We did vote. Pretty good. We got yeah. that. Okay. So we're going to move that to five, a five man, five person committee. Okay, at town meeting. Um, the second thing is to set the location for town meeting. Um, there's two choices this year. Okay. Um, Chandler Music Hall is one choice, and Randolph Union High School is the other choice. I, I, I throw it open to this board. Uh, I don't have a recommendation one way or another. Okay. Well, historically, we've used Chandler Music Hall, so my vote would be to have it at Chandler, unless anybody sees anything that they think we could better ourselves with at the high school. Parking may be the only situation. I thought about this a little bit. It's like, well, parking's a plus at the high school, but people still find a way around to get to Chandler, so. I agree. Me too. Okay. I think if we're going to change it, the BCA would have to because they're in charge of elections. Oh. Yep. Probably after these challenge, so. All right, so do we need a motion to that effect? Somewhere. Okay. Second. Second. All right. All those in favor of holding town meeting at Chandler Music Hall? Aye. 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 Okay, four zero. One. Okay. Let's see here. Next thing on your agenda, Cliff? Um, we need, you need to vote to um, approve a budget. Um, the one you have in your packet um, includes many of the changes that have been discussed at the budget meetings um, and also includes um, support for the recreation department. 
that we had talked about at the last budget, budget meeting. On that. And that budget that you have um, will reflect, assuming a static grand list, um, will re result in a two penny increase in the tax rate. I think we just have one copy of the budget. Did you say we should have two? One, no, you've got one. We just have one. one. You have one. That okay. includes that. The the impact of the additional support for the rec department is about thirty thousand dollars on the total budget, which is about six tenths of a penny on the tax rate. Six to six to seven tenths of a cent. To give you that impact, mm -hmm. that's included in the two cents. That that <laughs> you just gave us two cents. Right? I said two cents. The two cents is is with the. So we got a one point three. We'd be one point three or seven. or two point one. Okay. Or thereabouts. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And this is the budget with that in it. With that included. That, with that included. That's correct. Mm -hmm. Okay. Is that the only change from the last time we did recreation? Correct. <laughs> yes, because because we met after the last select board meeting at the budget committee meeting, and and so that was the only change. I think including this position is important. I think it's a real investment in in recreation, and I think we'd be foolish oh, I, not, I not to do it. I was part of the lobby for that the first time around, so yeah, I, I'm I'm believing that we need to make that investment. <clears throat> the recreation piece, I think, is becoming a critical component to people thinking about it, considering coming to the area. I, I think we'll see a return on that investment. Yeah. Coming in. Uh, was in, in, in terms of, of um, a tax rate training or in terms yeah. of total numbers? Tax rate? I saw something in the paper today, and um, it indicated that the, our school budget is north of $20 million, but I don't know what the impact is on the tax rate with that, how it compares against last year. I just didn't have yeah. So Cliff doesn't have much of an answer there, because we don't have information for that. Yeah. But that tax 
industry is going to end up being. I don't really know what they're doing and how that's going to impact it all. What are, so we're going from what to what? So we're got like what was it, 170? Am I out of? Put the back page on your yeah, point. Yeah, there. So we're at just over 77 cents this year, mm -hmm. and we'd be going to about 79 and a half cents. 79 cents. But the school portion is substantially higher than that, right? That yeah, I think it was a dollar fifty something last year, a dollar sixty. Yeah, okay. All right. Okay, well. I mean, the rec position, would you say, is a point zero six? Is that? That's what that's adding? Point zero, uh, point zero, uh, point zero, zero seven. Uh, zero, zero seven, okay. Yeah. All righty, huh? What do you folks think? budget question, mm -hmm. which I probably should know, but what do we, we have money in here for work on the East Randolph, East Valley building? Um, in terms of the, re the repairs okay. to that building, yeah. um, no, there's nothing in this budget for that, but that money will come out of reserves if, it, if we get there, and we'll get to that capital budget, capital plan document in a few minutes. So there's money that could be used. <laughs> things fall in place, is that what you're saying? Um, I, I didn't understand your question, Pat. Um, you say it would come out of reserves. That's correct. So that could be done this year out of reserves? or would uh, it No, it won't happen this year. It's not It's not in the planning for this year. 21, the one in the budget, it would happen in the budget year that we're talking about now. That's after the, um, there's a line item for the plan in fiscal 22, not the, not the year that we're talking about here. So the next year would be when we start. It would be one year more out. So so that this is next year's budget, and it would be the year after that. So nothing in this year's, this year's, next year's, but the year after 22? Correct. What page is that? Um, five of eight. Thousand for set to 22. Yeah. Same for 23. Mm -hmm. Thank you. All righty. Any thoughts about that? Is that headed to the town report? Want to go past that? Put it in there. That's what we're going to. And we're print that. <coughs> print, print the budget. With, yeah, I mean, that's with, what goes. With the assistant. Gonna go. yeah. are, we, are we good with the assistant? Um, yeah, I, I am. I'm fine with it. So, motion then. I move that we approve the fiscal year 2021 20, budget as presented. Second. Okay. All those in favor? Approving the budget, say aye. 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 I didn't hear an aye. <laughs> I said aye. Oh, okay. Did I hit the mute button again? No, you hit the mute button. All right, that's what it was. All right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I don't need to hear the background voice here. No, that's fine. 
All right, so uh, that, what's the next thing, Cliff? I think we're actually at the point where you can vote to approve this warning. <laughs> hey, we're close to that. Perfect. I had eight copies of this warning, just to, and I'm down to one, and that's why I went through in the order that I did. Yeah. Was because there was various decision trees along the way. Okay. And so as you made the decisions, I can <laughs> set those can copies set those aside. Over here? And now I'm down to one. All right. All right. So, Ask which is? Great question. Um, when you made that motion to approve the town budget, that was both this and this budget, the capital budget, and no, because there's it's those the, are we're just no, right? You can explain. Yes, they're separate. The, okay. the capital plan is is a separate document that will insert in the town report okay. um, afterwards. Okay. Yeah. Thanks. All right. So now we're down to warning. Down to warning, because the capital plan is not on the warning. Mm -hmm. And that warning is the one that you actually have in your packet. Yeah, kind of small, small type. Small type. Yes. Yeah. 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 That's okay. Save okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> <Saves> paper. <laughs> <laughs> You guys got the letter size. You <laughs> got the, like, I don't know what that size is, but I got something. All right, so. That's your pleasure on the warning. So the only thing that is not filled in on your copies of the warning are the article numbers. Mm -hmm. um, articles 1 through 26 will be voted on via Australian ballot. Correct. Um, that will happen on Tuesday, March 3rd, um, and Articles 27 through 33 will be voted from the floor of town meeting on February 29th. Okay. Any other questions? Thank you. That seems to be the most expedient thing, Mr. Sheriff. All righty. Feel about that, right? I think Pat needs a minute. Oh, Pat needs a minute. Okay. Yeah, Pat. Thank you. It looks like the police rate would actually be down. Is that true? Yes. Uh, the police rate will decrease um, by just over 4%. So that'll sort of balance out if you're in both the police district and the town. If you're in the police district, that helps you out, for yeah. sure. Changes along our in the budget. Yeah. In the morning? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And we have an article to vote on um, tax exemption for the Randolph Center. Fire. 
Article 33? Maybe. There's no 33. Sorry. Take this one. Don't, do not mark this one up. This is the official copy. <laughs> <laughs> what that's, else are you hiding? Uh, that, that's it. It's 33 on the back. You have one more page. Mm. Oh, okay. Thank you. You're welcome. All good? Yep. Thank you. All right. Motion. Your turn. You're the big spender. Go ahead. <laughs> Me? I'm off the hook tonight. I move that we uh, approve the uh, warrant for a time meeting. Warning. The yeah. warning. Warning. See, I messed it up. You should have done it. Yeah. Okay. okay. I had messed it up worse. I second. All right. So, motion has been made and seconded to approve the warning for town meeting. Okay. All those in favor say aye. 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 To approve the warning that was included in your packet. The one that, the one that, that Cliff Cliff has. It was the one that was included in their package. Yes. Is what I, they well, approved. mine looks like it matches yours. I got an article 33. Okay. And, and Patrick did have the article 33. It was just on the last page that he didn't flip over. That's true. Okay. Saving paper by printing on both sides. Yeah, it's awesome. Save the trees. Okay. okay. Now what do we got, Cliff? Uh, we need, you need to select a select board member to draft a message to the um, citizenry from the select board. Well, okay. The chair usually. And usually the chair does that. Must be on mute again. <laughs> What's that? Mute button worked that time. Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> You're the acting chair tonight. No, I'm sorry. I'm not a drafter. <laughs> I think that's, I think you can handle that, can't you? Can. I think you can. Okay. So Trini says she can take care of that. Shannon, when do you need that line? Now the pressure. Well, January 31st is when I submit everything to the printers. Okay. So, well, when I would like to have. It also Just send her an email to that effect, okay? okay. <laughs> <laughs> Just so let's put that out there. Yeah. Need by January 31st, she said. I told her to send you an email. Okay. This is for the select board message. Okay. okay. All right. Choose person. Are we down? Now we can go in order here. Pretty much. All right. So we need to choose a person to dedicate the report to, and a board member to draft that. Okay. So. Um, I, would, I think we should dedicate the report to Paul Ray. Okay. Paul Ray has been submitted. Has anybody got any other names they'd like to throw out there? I think that's a great idea. <clears throat> Hearing none? Does that mean Trini also writes the... Does that mean you're going to write that one? No, the person not there always gets everything assigned to them. Isn't Fordham missing too? Yeah, Fordham's missing too. I'll take you off the hook on that. I can help you with that a little bit, at least as part of it. So I can help you with some of that. Maybe we can come up with something together. I'll, I'll uh, put my wife on that. Okay. Have cool. a picture, hopefully. Yeah, we'll find a picture. Yeah, so I think we're all good with that. So we can motion to that effect. You actually need a motion for that? I don't know. Maybe I ought to have one. Huh? Make it official. Locations. It's another of the action items. Trini, do we need to vote for this? Uh, we always have. Okay. Yes. You need a motion. I'll make a motion. So she made the motion. You just need a second. Needs a second. I'll second that. Okay. Motion is seconded. Trini and Larry. All those in favor say aye. 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 Okay. Motion made. Carried. All right. Um, location approved. That's just for the dedication. That's for the dedication. Right. Yep. 
And then, let's see here, so town meeting's done. Decided and request made by U.S. Census Bureau. Uh, back, you need to select photographs for the town report. Oh, we're gonna go select photographs next? I was, well, the, I was gonna say the fun the stuff to last. Yeah. All right, you wanna pick photographs? How many do we need? Well, the, um, we need one for the cover. And I, and I really like the whale's tails with the um, either the sunset or the sunrise. Sunset. Sunset or sunrise. Okay. I, I think it's sunset. So um, it's the one taken by Marjorie Ryerson. I got two. Uh, so it's, it's the one at the top. The top one. The one on the top of the page by Marjorie. Okay. I think that should, I suggest that that one go on the cover if you approve. Yeah, the other one looks like it's um, distorted. It is. It's just the way that I put it on where that's not okay. necessarily how it would that, That's not how it would yeah. actually look. Okay. I'm good with that one, the top one. I like that. That leaves you a little room to be able to bleed some writing over here on the side. You know. Either one is fine with me, so. If there's a preference for the first of the, the one with the sunshine in it, that's fine. I'm fine. You're okay with that? Pat's yeah. nodding his head. You're good. Yeah. Okay. Trini, can you see that? <laughs> <laughs> Hold it up to the Hold it up to the phone. I'll trust you guys on that. You're going to trust us on that one? Oh, okay. All right. All right. Yeah. So, all right. So this is the cover photo. And what else do we need? And then there's uh, three, four, five pages, six pages of various other photos um, that will be used to, as um, filling in white space. Filling in the white space? Yep. Okay. And do we don't really have to make any decisions then? We've never gotten involved in those photos. Okay. Yeah. I think it's just, you just, those are stock photos. Give them to them and let them figure out what to do with them, right? Yep. Unless you have some serious obje objection to one of the photos, any of the photos. Yeah. Nope. Sounds good. Looks good to me. All right. Photos are done. Just so we're crystal clear about that. You got that, Shannon? Right there? Yes. Okay. All right. Photos are done. Let's see here. All right, all right. Okay, now we go to Census Bureau. Sounds good. Hold there. What are we doing here? The Census Bureau has asked us to um, include a message in the town report about particip participating in this year's census. Here, yeah. um, it, um, it helps determine how federal money is doled out to us. Mm -hmm. um, and so it's important for everybody to be counted. There are, um, there has been some debate about various questions that may or may not be included in these, um, in the census. That's not really a task. But that's not, that's not us. It's not us. Nope. So, so there's but, two. But there's, the only thing there is that um, some of those questions don't have to be answered, and so they can be counted but not answer the question. So what we have here is exactly what we insert there? That's, that, so that is, um, that is not our language, right? This, so no, that's exactly what they sent us. That's so what, what they sent, they would like us to put it in. Sent. So we would put both of these paragraphs in? They didn't specify. They wanted one in the, our report, in the select board report. Mm. That's what it says, the bottom was a sort of So one would go, so would go alone. some somewhere in the report and the other would go as part of the, the select board that's message. What that's what they're asking. Yeah. I think it's definitely important and we ought to help what we can to get the word out. Yeah, there's, there's a flyer too, right? There, there's a there's flyer, flyer that's, yeah. that's included in your packet. Will that go in the town report? No, we're thinking we could hand it out at town meeting. You can get them to pay for the town report and put it on the back cover. <laughs> I like that idea. It doesn't cost me a lot of money to get on the back cover, you know? 
Okay, well, I don't have a problem with either one of these things. I mean, I think it's fine. Got to encourage that stuff. I'm just not sure we need both of these. They're kind of... Yeah. I think we should just include the standalone entry. The standalone entry in whatever appropriate spot there happens to be. And yeah, wherever it fits in good. Wherever it fits. Back page well. or something, right? Yeah. Inside back cover. Yeah, because that was another question. Where would we, where should I put it? Where there's, where there's space and it makes sense? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, like I said, inside I trust, the back cover or, or inside page, you know, the last page, maybe. One of those two big places, maybe it fits. Okay. And then, yeah, I guess these are, I'd say these are just a handout. Make them available, but don't print a lot of them. <laughs> yep. I would imagine that probably those won't be picked up. Black and white. What's that? Black and white. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Seriously, man. It's, 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 seriously, it's yeah, a difference it's, in price. It, well, the difference in price, and on top of that, I mean, who's, how many people do you think are going to pick those up? Nobody. Yeah, that's my guess. So, but you can say you did your part, you made them available, right? Okay. So we got through the census. Uh, press on. Fire, real fire, just what's that? Did we already do that eight? That's um that is a hundred dollar request um for from the Vermont Rural Fire Protection Task Force. Um, and you get a request for making that next one. I you know, I, I think that money's in our budget. It's already there? I think it's already there. Okay. And GMEC too? Jim, I, I know for a fact that I, I, I bumped that up, okay. and so that's in there already. All right. All right. So, so you've already approved that? I already approved them. They're in the budget. <laughs> <laughs> right? But what, I want to point it out to you um, because it was a specific request from them, um, and so you have firsthand knowledge of what's in the budget. All right. So I really haven't taken any action on those because they're already there. Right. So we're good with that. All right. Well, just because they're in the budget, does it mean that we're that, that we're approving this particular use of? Is this like are each of these a specific line item in the budget? This is what I'm saying. There, this one, this one in particular, has a specific line item in the budget. Both both of these, the fire protection. Um, the fire element. protection does not. The um, Green Mountain Economic Development Corporation is. Okay. So, so that one we have then really covered. So do we need to then officially say that we can spend the money spend from the, the budget on this? Fire one? Wouldn't hurt. Okay. Sure. Make a motion. Motions are cheap. Move that we, how do I say this, approve the request for money from the town for the Vermont Rural Fire Protection Program. For one hundred dollars, right? Okay. Motion made, seconded. All those in favor say aye. 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 Okay, heard it. <laughs> Just punch the move button off in time. <laughs> All right. And you want to do the same thing for VMEDC as long as you're there. Might as well, right? It's on here. Make it easy. Make it official. Okay. I move that we approve the request um, from GMEDC for a $5,000 appropriation in fiscal year 2021. <clears throat> that's, what that's what it's in the budget for right now. Yes. Yes. Do we know how much? they get per town from the state? I don't, but we could probably find out. That'd be interesting to know. See how we're comparing? Yeah. Okay. Well, I mean, they get that money. Yeah. Plus they get some from us. Right. It sounded to me like they wanted to charge us more per person. Maybe. 
Well, their, their letter says that the previous request was 50 cents a resident. <coughs> so it's a little bit more than double that. Yeah. So just over a buck. Yeah. yeah. And I was questioning whether every town was yep. requested. We're getting a lot of help then from them. The second. Not a lot of stuff. Okay, motion and second. All of those in favor say aye. 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 Money Okay, good. All right, there. All right. So you're four zero. All right. Um, Thanks, Curry. That's it for that, right? We're good for those things. Good for those things. Um, All right. Capital pl improvement program. Yeah. Um, this has been approved by the capital budget committee. Okay. And sent down to this board for its blessing. How many trucks to put in here? <laughs> <laughs> the trucks are on the morning. And the, and, the trucks, no and the trucks are in this document too, so <coughs> on page four. Page four. <coughs> Will this be part of the town report? Yes. Uh, yes. And the and the authorization for uh, borrowing to buy the trucks is included in the town blank. All right. All right. Cliff, which item is this under? This is still under town report. Okay. All righty. So I need a motion to approve the capital plan. So moved. Second. <coughs> All righty. Motion made and seconded to approve the capital plan. All those in favor say aye. 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 Okay. Done town meeting and report. I think we're done town meeting and report. Shannon, am I correct about that? Do you have anything else about the I'll, I'll overlook anything? I think I didn't have any. There was any. a question on the warning. Um, was Article 6? Article 6. Um, that was the, that was the one I alerted them to that the borrowing for the four hundred twenty thousand. That's the one you're talking about. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. <coughs> what was the question? Um, does the twenty five thousand transfer into the highway equipment reserve account or the paving reserve account? Oh, Article Five. Oh, sorry, Article Five. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> the. Um, Some years ago, the wastewater department borrowed, there was a bonding issue. And, oh, yes. Huh? I remember something about this. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And so the, 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 it's being paid back out of the general fund. Mm -hmm. And it's being repaid to the general fund by the wastewater fund. And so it goes from the wastewater fund to the general fund, and then this is to um, and then it gets transferred over to the highway fund where subsequently this article asked for it to be put into reserves for the capital program. Last year was in the paving reserve. Um, the, in looking at our capital improvement program, um, it went into paving last year. We could really use it in paving this year um, or next year. Um, and the, frankly, the Highway Equipment Fund is healthier than the paving fund at this particular juncture in time. Okay. And so it's worded for that article to transfer that $25,000 to the paving reserve. To the paving fund. Yep. And this was the sum the sewer department didn't get charged for. The yeah. <coughs> Project. All right. Okay, well, thanks for clearing that up. We don't need to take any action on it, though, right? Because that's what we're going to do. How are you? Very yeah. warm. Yep. Thank you, Shannon. Thanks. Okay, so 
if we're now officially through town report and town meeting. On to grants. What do we have in the grant department? I don't have anything out of grants. Okay. How about old business? I do not have any old business. Okay. I've got some other business. Okay, you got some um, other business. The, the other business is to make the board aware that, um, that the planning commission at its meeting last week um, voted to approve some changes in the land use regulations, Article 2 and Article 5, um, regarding a planned unit development. Um, and those changes will be coming before this board at its February meeting. There's a 15-day warning requirement um, for those changes before this board. Um, the Planning Commission had the same 50-day, 15-day warning requirement, and with them having approved it just last week, um, it was too soon to get it on the, on the agenda for this meeting. But um, if we set a date tonight, so if you we set, can a then date, set a date tonight to discuss that, um, it can be worn, properly warned for the February 13th meeting. For the February 13th meeting, as a hearing. Okay. So we need a motion to set a date for this hearing that and for, we yeah. want it to coincide with our next regular meeting. I think that would be a way to handle yes. it. Yes. And you may need to have more than one hearing. Yeah, we may have to, but we can start with yeah. one and see what happens. Yeah. Why would we need more than one? Just because of time? Sometimes it like, can happen. You change something. Change something might have to, you know, if we make an alteration, if it's like where it makes a change to the what's proposed, then we have to have another hearing to address those changes. I see. I don't think this like board would need to make a change. I think, you know, we, we've beat this around since probably back in September, October is when we started working on this. Um, it was based on a request from RACDC to change some of the language so we can address and have, you know, put PUDs in there. And along with that, there was some lot size <clears throat> changes that we looked at. So those are going to be coming forward. But it's pretty much, it was a consensus. It was unanimous in the Planning Commission, so there wasn't any real question. So I think it would be fine. And some things do require two hearings, and I just I'm not sure if this is one of them. I don't think it is, but we'll yeah. see. Check with Adolfo when he gets back; he can research that for us. All right. I don't think so. I don't think we're good. No. So we just need to make a motion to have a special hearing to address land use regulations. <coughs> so moved on February thirteenth at. 530 before, 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 meeting. before a regular meeting. Second. Okay. So I have a motion and a second to have a special hearing to address land use regulations on based on the change of recommendation from the Planning Commission. So all those in favor say aye. 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 Okay. We're good. Or is there there? All right. Any other old business, Cliff? Not that I'm aware of, and since Adolfo is not here, we, um, I'm going to kick his management re manager's report to the next meeting. Okay. Sounds like a plan. Uh, anything earth-shattering in his manager's report is there? No. The only um, the, the only thing I will share with the board is that we had a um, one of our trucks went down last Friday, um, and because of the extensive cost of the repairs at this particular time, we're opting not to go with the repair. The, to get the truck back on the road was going to be $20,000. Wow. And with, with the, um, with the purchase of two new trucks being imminent, um, or at least the RFPs being imminent, um, we felt that $20,000 was going to be an exorbitant cost to put this truck on the road for six to nine months. Because with what happened to this truck, um, the highway department has decided that that needs to be one of the ones that goes. It wasn't the original one that was going to go, but now it is. Oh, wow. So well, this has been a problem, Charles, since the beginning. Yeah. So, that's 
So that one here, I'm not sure what the intent is. They just we're going to keep on nursing that one along, right? Which, which one? The one we, oh, we had two were targeted. Yeah. But one of them wasn't so bad. This one that just went down was the was the problem child we've had since we basically purchased it. That's my understanding. And, and this one was the one we were going to relegate to a chloride duty in mm -hmm. the summertime. Um, but since the chloride truck is now better than the one that was just damaged, um, the one that's damaged is the one that's going. And then the other one is just, that, that's the tandem, mm -hmm. um, is just a you know, problem child right along as well. So. Okay. <laughs> and the Belvo has that um, on his agenda to do the RFP on Monday when he gets back. Okay. We might need to reassess on the other truck. I'm, I'm sorry. We might need to reassess the other truck where that is in the replacement schedule. Uh, which other truck? The one that we're not replacing that we were going on because it was so bad. Uh, that was our backup truck, and we used it just mainly for chloride duty. Um, we have pressed it into plowing service this, this winter, plowing and salting and sanding. Um, and yes, that is a consideration. Um, that we do need to, to look at that. And I, and I think, um, Trini, you're looking at AOT to see if they've got a mothball truck we could borrow or buy. Did you get that? The question has gone up, and we haven't done it in the past. Doesn't mean we can't do it. It means that we're checking on a couple of things we don't get Okay. All right. Or we can go to the auction in the spring. That's right, exactly. <laughs> have it back to you by May. Yeah, well, yeah, there you go. We'll ship it back to you by May. <laughs> okay. And so hopefully that RFP will go up on Monday. All right, okay. great. All righty. In, in our package, was a plan of merger document? Is that, um, that was um, some support for the um, the fire department advisory committee's recommendation about wages and what they were empowered to do as part of that Piece agreement. Of information. Okay. Yeah. All right. Any other business? I have a question on the trucks. What's the wait time once we order the trucks? I don't know definitively on that, Pat, but I believe it's six to nine months. So next fall. Yeah. The goal would be to have them here before winter. Yep. Yeah. Maybe even to haul a little sand. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, no other business. Motion to adjourn. Move we'll to Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 All right. Meeting adjourned.